just get into the our hotel. This is a uh, Rio Ocho Rios. We're just about to check in. Look at this. It's beautiful. You're gonna see the rest with us. Rios, Jamaica. I'm gonna give you a little tour. I hope you like it. Um, so far, very nice hotel. This time she say it right. Oh yeah, this. Okay, let's show you around. So this is the entrance, open space. That's our closet, the safe. To the left we have our mini bar, king size bed TV mini living room that's a sofa bed that's where Gigi's going to sleep or with us in our bed this is our balcony it's very dark we're not going to be able to view anything but it's beautiful and we can see all of the pools and the gardens of the hotel Let's go back inside. I'm gonna show you our mini bar. Complimentary mini bar. Has some uh, red stripe. I think that's the national beer here. Some sodas. Appleton, Appleton Jamaican rum. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Uh, red label, vodka. Was the uh, other one? Was uh, gin. Yeah, some We're gonna make our own late night cocktails here. Mm -hmm. And the room. I'm sorry, the bathroom. <laughs> this is the shower. Very nice. Very spacious. Modern. Wherever you want to see it. Double sick bathroom. Toilet, of course. Oh, wow. This is the best hotel ever. Yeah. 
hotel so this is the kind of hotel where you're gonna have many restaurants where you're gonna have bars all around the hotel by the pools by the beach area um, anywhere so around the lobby very big area seating area you have a few of the special specialty restaurants they have four they open only for dinner our advice is that you get there before 6.30, which is their opening time, because if not, you're gonna be waiting outside for maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Um, this, this is our last night, we tried that. I only did a line at one of the restaurants for 20 minutes outside. After that, we went in there and we were eating already. But if you don't get there before it opens, you might have to wait until later, like around 9, 30, 10, to see if you're more lucky and get inside. So they have the buffet, which will open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In between those times, it will be closed. They have a couple areas around the hotel, just like to where you can get a few things to eat, like a quick bag. It's not a restaurant, it's just like a area where they have something where you can grab something to eat in between breakfast and lunch, lunch and dinner, and like that. They have two big main pools. One is like the relaxed one where you have a pool bar and one is the more active, active, noisy, light one. Um, that was more packed. You have music all the time. They have activities for the kids and the adults. They have, I don't know, they have yoga around around that pool you'll find the spa the gym and it's a very nice quiet area and then more towards the back of the hotel they have the kids swimming pool or more like the kids pool with the water park um, it's very nice it's very very different but it's a kids pool so maybe for like a, a maybe for like a kid of five years old and younger and that's it and next to that you have the water slides for kids and adults very nice they have like four or five different water slides and you can go up and down as many times as you want 
Um, other things that you might want to consider is um, they have other areas for young adults or more like teenagers, real for you. It's like a hanging out place for them where they can play video games, play soccer, ping pong table, um, many of the things like that for the teenagers, for them to enjoy, have a nice time here at the hotel. Aside from that, um, they have a lot of um, bars around the hotel. So wherever you are, you can always grab a drink and go from here and there and be with your drink. Um, you have beach access, several of them. In the back of the hotel, you have the beach access. You have maybe like four or five of them. And depending on where you access the beach, you'll notice that more areas are more quiet, quiet than others, more relaxing, more active. So the hotel is divided or structured in a way that if you want to just be relaxing and calm, you go to maybe like the left side of the hotel. If you like the life, the party, the music, um, during the day, well, you go to the other people to the right side of the hotel. Overall, our experience, super cool, very nice hotel, either just for a couple or just for the family. At night, they have um, shows. Every night is a different <coughs> show. Music, they have sometimes a band playing music. Of course, this is Jamaica. You're gonna have a lot of bands playing um, music from here, reggae. So, um, but every night is a different show, a different theme. So one night it's gonna be about maybe Bob Marley. Um, another night it's gonna be about Jamaican reggae. Like they'll change the theme every night and make sure that the guests, uh, the guests at the, at the hotel are having a really nice time every single night. Tonight it was a white party behind the hotel in the back of the hotel. In, um, it's a, it was a white party with a live band and a person singing reggae. So it was really nice, very active. It was full of people. So they make sure that you have a very nice time. Aside from that, we have we had like a couple of, not issues, but our, our seating fan wasn't working, for example. And then I called them in the middle of the night. I called the reception and they offered to come at that time to come and fix it for me. I said, no, it's okay, they can do it in the morning. Next day in the morning, around midday, it was already fixed when I came back to my room. Another thing is that if you call, for example, for extra blankets or a pillow, they'll be at your room, bringing them to you in less than 15 or 20 minutes. So you don't have to wait half a day or that the housekeeper or the room service comes by here to fix your room so you can get those. So I really hope you enjoy the video. You see everything the hotel has. I hope you see that this is a place where you can have a lot of fun. Thank you.